Good afternoon. Thank you for creating time for us. You are in time for the latest updates, not only locally, but also across the borders. This is KBC. You're watching the Lunchtime News. My name is Irene Uchuma Odem. On sign language interpretation, we have Byron Abuli. It is the 16th day in the month of November 2022. Four days to the World Cup. Let's interact on all our social media platforms at KBC Channel 1. KBC will be bringing you mouth-watering matches live from Qatar. We kick off on a sad note this afternoon following the collapse of a building in Kasarani yesterday. Yusuf Farah is on that bit. Farah, good afternoon. I understand Nairobi governor was there during this morning hours probably to check on the situation after the building collapsed yesterday. What is the latest update that we have, Farah? Indeed, Irene Michuma, very good afternoon to you there back at the broadcasting house. We are coming to you live from Kasarani, South County. This is the site where yesterday in the afternoon this seven-story building collapsed. And from last night until this moment, rescue operations are still ongoing. We were able to speak to the area deputy county commissioner and he brought us to speed. As of yesterday, 16 people were rescued, taken to hospital to be attended to and all of that at around 2 a.m. leading up to today morning. Two, two people were found in the rubble. One was taken to hospital, one unfortunately died. But as of now, are in Michuma, as we were here, with another body was being brought out of this place. So three people confirmed dead from here. Uh, four are still missing, so the rescue operations are still ongoing. In the course of the day, the uh, Nairobi governor, Johnson Sakaja, has been able to come here in the company of the LAN CS, Zakaria Moink, and they're saying that they will be using this as an example to those who are seeking to be building, uh, to setting up businesses, uh, buildings like this rather, without getting the necessary compliance certificates, without getting the licenses, because this building apparently, what we, what we got from the national, from the NCA rather, is that there has been stop orders for this building. Not once, not twice, but ten times. There is a court order at uh, the Makadara Law Court involving this building that has been issued to stop. Yesterday, the NCA was here trying to stop the people. They issued another stop order, but they're saying they are accusing the proprietor of this building of impunity, you know, continuing to build even when they're told not to build. And subsequently, it is what led to this. So uh, the governor says going forward, setting up of buildings without getting the licenses won't be allowed and any person found culpable no matter who they are they will be met with the full force of the law so rescue operations are still here our red cross is here we have the kenya defense forces rapid sorry we have the kenya defense forces disaster response battalion is here we have st john ambulance and everything so they will be here we will be camping here to bring any more updates to from here but for now back to you in studio Irene Machuma. 